Hello guys, hope you have been having a very great day. In this video, we'll be learning about how to determine the optimal location of a substation. So, before we actually see uh, how to determine the optimal location, it is important for us to know why should we determine the optimal location of a substation. The basic reason is, the first thing is, losses are minimized the second thing is service interruption is minimum and the third thing is the cost is reduced one and three are a little bit uh, almost similar but the major reasons to have the proper location of a substation is this so there are mainly two methods by which we can determine the optimal location. So the first method is the perpendicular bisector rule and in this video we'll be learning about just that. We all know about what a perpendicular bisector is. We have done that in our math classes. Given a line, another line that divides the line in exactly half and also as an angle of 90 degrees is nothing but the perpendicular bisector. So using the same principle, we uh, apply it to uh, help us in determining the optimal location of a substation. So before a substation's location is determined, uh, let us consider a few substations that already exist in a given area. The violet boxes indicate the substations already existing in that area and the green box is my proposed substation which means I want to build the substation there. So now the perpendicular bisector method states that first you need to draw a straight line connecting the existing substation and the proposed substation. Draw straight lines to all the existing and proposed so all the existing substations to the proposed one. The next thing you're gonna do is bisect perpendicularly bisect these lines so this is half this is a perpendicular bisector and this and this so now you notice that if you extend these perpendicular bisectors they all intersect at one at, at, at specific points so an area is marked by these lines the area is enclosed by these lines the area shaded in black is that area that is going to be catered by this proposed substation so using this perpendicular bisector method you can see how much area the proposed substation can cater to. So in order to determine the load that is actually uh, that actually has to be provided by the substation the sum of all the loads in this given area may be considered. So in this way we use the perpendicular bisector method in order to find out the optimal location of a substation so hope you found this video informative and thank you for watching if you have an exam tomorrow all the very very best